I know some of y'all are probably wanting me to yell. I did in happiness. I don't want to do it in anger and frustration. <laughs> Hello everyone, hope this show finds you well. Welcome to the Brandon Dilworth Show. This is a show of sense and smack. Why do I not have my trademark vest on? Well, the reasoning is pretty simple. It's hot! Like, I understand fall and the cool temperatures are coming, but it is so hot here. I was sweating like a rotisserie chicken. All right, that, I, that's how that's how hot it was. I was cooking. Well, speaking of cook, I apologize in advance to anybody watching in West Virginia, but it is time to rock and roll with some feel good content. And feel good content that I'm talking about is my alma mater homecoming. GSU, Georgia State University. Panthers taking on Marshall. I went to the game with uh, some really good friends. Been blessed to do it three times at homecoming. It's It was a beautiful night. Homecoming is wild as always, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Uh, the festivities were wonderful and the people were energetic. And more importantly, the football team won. And they blew them out, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that score. We were cooking some burgers and we were eating good. <laughs> I'm going to have to stop because I'm sounding like a madman. But it was great. Speaking of football, it is now time for the Falcons Welfare Check. Now, I know I took a break this past week. I didn't do a show that week. So, I'm going to have to catch y'all up, okay? So, the Falcons were facing the Texans. Uh, it, it was a close scrape, but Desmond Ritter played like he should. The defense was really good. It, it, it was really good. It was excellent. It was incredible. Arthur Smith was doing very well. And goo with the kick. Oh, wait. That was an awesome, that was an awesome game. And you think that the Falcons would take notes from that game. And you think that they would keep up that consistency. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the exact opposite of what happened on this game against the Washington Commanders, that was that should have been a winnable game. I don't want to hear any excuses about how or why they didn't win this matchup. Desmond Ritter played like straight crap. Three picks? Three picks! Three picks, what? You don't have anything to say for this. No, you don't. Three picks? For real? Come on! He's making rash decisions that he shouldn't be making. Arthur Smith making rash decisions that he shouldn't be making. Yeah, y y I saw the look on your face, Coach Smith. What in the world were you thinking after you scored a touchdown to go for a two-point conversion? You had two tries at it because of pass interference from the defense from Washington. You had two tries. And you botched both tries. That's no excuse. That is no excuse. Just kick the ball and have a blessed day. Do the YMCA for all I care. It's fun to stay in the YMCA. I'm convinced that the Falcons are afraid of winning. I, I, I At this point, I don't know what to say because I don't envy the next game they're, they're about to face. Uh, when they go against the Buccaneers at Tampa Bay. There is this rule in boxing that the biggest opponent, the greatest opponent that you will ever face is not standing across from you in the ring. Is the opponent within here. It's you wanting to chase greatness versus you 
who has doubts and dare I say, maybe scared of winning. You, and, and in this case, it's the Falcons that want to make a run. Screw Super Bowl at this point. At least a playoff run. Versus the team that just is scared of winning games. Especially because it would happen with 51. Do not get me started on 51. It's a team that's comfortable with being stagnant. And when it came to this past Sunday, the latter team won that round. You know, I, I know a friend that's a, a Bucks fan. And um, this is going to... Um, this is going to get real... It's going to get real complicated. I got mixed feelings. And uh, we're we going to see. I do this segment to update y'all on how I feel about Falcons. And right now, I'm about to throw this hat. I'm about to throw this hat across the room. If they, if they lose against the Bucks, please pray for me. That the next show I do, I don't get you angry. I don't yell and strain my voice again. Because I know some of y'all are probably wanting me to yell. I did in happiness. I don't want to do it in anger and frustration. I don't. I know, man. Stop playing with my emotions. Stop playing with my emotions. That's all I got to say on this week's Falcons Welfare Check. So what have we learned over these past few years? We learned that caring for your mental health is the key to living well. And what you do with your mind affects the body. We learned that too much consumption of one thing without any breaks in between can be potentially harmful to one's mind, be it social media, news, housekeeping, your priorities with work and or school, compounded with circumstances like living situations and workplace culture that are beyond one's control. We also learned that as bad as those stressful feelings are, it's in our own control as to how long we suppress them. The fact is, nobody wants to feel depressed and have the weight of the world on their shoulders every single day. But we just can't seem to drop our obligations, reasons being deadlines, good pay, or otherwise. Now, I'm not suggesting that it's okay to completely abandon your responsibilities, but if what you do is no longer giving you joy, take some time away from the computer, off your chair, away from the phone, and work on yourself. Take a vacation, try a new hobby, interact with loved ones, meditate on why you got so worked up in the first place. The optimistic people are those who control their reactions to the uncontrollable. These are the people who sleep well. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the show. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and click on the bell. Don't forget to check out my podcast to kick back and kick out. I do wrestling news, rumors, and stuff in between. It's on the PSF app and is free on Apple and Android devices. Search me under Pro Sports Fans. Till we meet again, stay safe. God bless. And don't forget to love yourself and one another.